Yeah. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Q. Yeah. Can I see that car when I buy another car? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Q. Back again to y'all with another video, man. And today, this is a little different reaction, man. We got a little, a little, uh criminal reaction you know what i'm saying i told y'all like doing these type of reactions eventually i mean i said eventually uh obviously y'all fuck with them too you know what i'm saying because i see y'all fuck with all the other look the little uh crime videos i did did you know what i'm saying so we gonna i'm gonna keep throwing them bitches at y'all you know i'm gonna keep throwing them at y'all hopefully y'all eat the shit up like it's lunch meat no cap <laughs> If you're new to the channel, man, please subscribe to the kingdom, man. We rising, man. We young. We black. We rising. You did. Um, we on the road to 2000, man. I'm doing a giveaway at 2000. I keep telling y'all this, but I'm telling y'all this shit because I mean it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I came up with this brilliant ass idea of a giveaway and... I want to do that shit for not just for me, but for my city. You know what I'm saying? Just to show y'all where I'm from and 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 to to embrace the power of you know, no matter how big I get, I never forget where I come from. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so let's get into this reaction, man. We're gonna be right to when the killer is the first to arrive to the at the murder scene. I don't know if this is real. I don't know if this is fake. I don't know if this is scripted. I don't know, but y'all finna get my reaction to this shit. Let's get it. Where are you at? Okay, what's going on? I don't even know. You don't know what's, what's going, going on? on? Is he breathing? Oh my god. My husband's cat is dead. Okay, is that your husband? My husband's freaking out. Yes, it's okay. his friend. Elizabeth, you're on the ground. Ma'am. He's on the floor. There's blood everywhere. Oh my god. He has a blood blood in the back of his head. Damn. What is your name? My name is Sherry King. Sherry. You don't see a gun? No, I don't see a gun. Cap. <laughs> How the fuck you got shot of here? You'll see them guns. Somebody did something. And I, I always wonder this epiphany when it comes to police calls. Why do they still be asking questions once they ask, Where you located? I never understood that. Like, do they already got police coming on the way? Like, cause not. Like I ain't have I ain't have to call the police a day in my life type shit. So I'm just curious, you know. I, I need to know these things, just in case. But like, do they call police on some like? Oh yeah, you at this location, so they already send a cop over, or are they trying to get a, a a brief summary of what's going on before they send a cop? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, like. Okay. Listen, I need you and your husband to back out of the residence and wait outside for the officers. Do you hear me? Sorry. In May 2017, police in the small, quiet town of Bel Air, Ohio, find a man dead in his basement. A gunshot wound to the head. A gunshot wound to the back of the head at that. Hold on. They found the gunshot wound to the back of his head at that. They did that shit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. When police arrive on the scene, they meet with the husband and wife that had found the deceased man. David Kinney and his wife Cherry are longtime friends of the victim, 43 year old Brad McGarry. I can't more believe that. How long you got Eight, nine years. Oh, yeah. My kids call him uncle. He's supposed to go to the Bahamas with us in August. Best buds, I think. Yeah, he's one of my best friends. <laughs> Wait, damn, hold on. So did they backdoor this nigga, bro? Because, like, the title say when the killer is the first to arrive at the murder scene. So they killed this nigga and they, they backdoor this nigga. And then they send up a pen on the act. That shit crazy. And the police ain't suspecting nothing. Which I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It's typical shit. You know what I'm saying? If 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 I was to call cops and shit and say, 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're not going to suspect me. This is my dog. But they back though. They foul as hell, boy. He met him coal mining class years ago, and we just took him and his family. Oh, it's Ryan. Look at freaking Ryan. Oh, I'm sorry. Ryan, Ryan, I can't Ryan, find Ryan. him. I'm what you doing? What you getting? How are you coming about coming out here? That right there is a weed eater. It's a whole plant. Okay. Is it the weed eater? Yes, sir. We come to the basement door and knock. Because my daughter knocked on the front door. I told her, I said, Cisco, knock on the back door. She went up and knocked on the back door. The door was open. I went up right behind her. I noticed that the kitchen was scattered. There was stuff all over there. I told my wife, I said, Cherry, something's wrong. When the police look in the basement, they find the body of Brad McGarry lying face down on the floor with a pool of blood around his head. Brad McGarry was an openly gay man in a small conservative neighborhood. His friends state that he had just ended a relationship with a man named Scotty, but they didn't know his last name. Oh shit, hold on, wait a minute. This title kind of confusing me. Are they the suspects or the victims and did they kill him or not? Cause now I'm now I'm confused, y'all. Like I ain't trying to give y'all the wrong information, cause I like to educate a little bit sometimes if I know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? If I know the laws and shit, I educate y'all, cause I don't want y'all to look like no goofies and no dummies. So I try to educate y'all ass too. But I don't know what the fuck going on. He's the last relationship he was in. It was pulled off. He had a with anybody ever since. Who was the girl? While looking around the house, police notice that it appears to have been ransacked. Oddly enough, they notice that nothing has actually been taken. Right. There were multiple newer phones lying around, a large TV, and even money on the floor. Police are convinced that the robbery was staged. The Damn. Loki makes sense, though. Loki makes sense. See, <laughs> see where I'm from, nigga, nigga see money in TVs, nigga, that shit get took. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, where I'm from, nigga, see that shit, they taking that shit down. They don't give a fuck, they taking it, bro. The next thought is that it was suicide. When the cop ain't no suicide, dude. Like, that's dumb as hell. How y'all gonna say y'all cannot think? If I was a cop or a sheriff, and a nigga, if I had a suspect, I mean, if I had a victim, and they said that they were shot in the head, ain't no way in here. I mean, if they should, they were shot in the back of the head, ain't no way that's suicide. Cause you can't tell. I mean, you can do like that. But come on, bro. You you gotta you gotta look at them angles. You gotta look at them angles of that and that at that bullet to to to, 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 to peep what 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 position that gun was aimed from. The next thought is that it was suicide. When the coroner arrives, he starts taking a look at Brad's body. It is apparent that there is a gunshot wound to the head, so he asks if there was a gun found anywhere, but no gun was found. Exactly. Since off if it was suicide, the gun would still be literally by his body. Word. <laughs> like, for real. Oftentimes, suicide victims fall on top of the gun after committing the act. Exactly. Police roll the body over, but they still do not find a gun. Exactly, which means they go with... This shit crazy as hell. This mean... This mean I was right. This mean they backdoored this man. Shot him in the back of the head. Scrabbled everything to make it look like a like a like some type of fucking robbery or attempt robbery. Shot him in the back of his head. Called the police themselves. Thinking in their head like, oh, if we call the cops. They won't suspect us. This is our best friend. Imagine they don't see no gun. Even though they still got a chance to. They still got a chance to point this shit as a robbery because ain't no robber from the look at they. But a robber ain't, they ain't take shit either. So they don't know. They like the kind of feel like what the fuck going on. But watch this though. I could you not. One of these stories ain't finna match up. One of these stories ain't finna match up. Something ain't finna add up. Watch. Over, 
that's the case, it wasn't no suicide. Exactly. What are you doing today to change your mood? Me? 30 minutes ago? I've taken this cannabis infused edible for mood. It's fantastic. Detectives begin interviewing friends and family of Brad right away, trying to form a timeline and gain as much information as possible as to who may have done this. After getting the full name of Scotty Butler, Brad's recently ex-boyfriend, they head to his house right away to interrogate him. When detectives arrive at the house, his mother answers the door and states that Scotty has been in jail for the past three months for Damn. violating his probation. Scotty Butler is no longer a suspect, as he had a solid alibi. Right. It ain't Scotty. Scotty yeah, was bumped already, so... Who else could it be? Really? Who else could it be? It's either one or two. Them the motherfucker that found them. Ain't no gun there. Ain't nobody robbing shit. It's them two. It gotta be, shorty. Detectives decide to take a look around the neighborhood to see if there are any cameras filming towards Brad's house. Oh, Thankfully, shit. Thankfully, one neighbor had a camera that faced towards the street near Ooh. Brad's house. Oh, shit. They would be able to see who came and went from the house. Yeah. While reviewing the camera footage, they continue to interview friends and family. David had taken some pictures and screenshots that could help detectives in the investigation, so they took his phone to copy the information. The issue the detective is having at this moment is that just the night before, Brad's cousin said something that completely changed the direction of the investigation. Sunday, we went to Grammy's. We were sitting around the table, it was just me and Brad and Heather, which is another cousin of mine, and he made a comment how this DJ guy, he was coming over. Brad's intent was it was romantic. He made a joke about taking a nap. Mm. And it wasn't taking a nap. It, he was insinuating that they were having sex. Like quotation marks. This was Sunday. This was Sunday. Yeah, he was killed. Yes. What time do you mean? Between 1.30 and 2. Really? Yes, he was supposed to. He was dropping all the tuxes no, off. Uh, I also know that he was married. He was married. Told you that. Uh, Brad did. Brad told you. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, no internet. Oh, fuck. Hold on, y'all. She, being the wife, uh, didn't know all this time. They've been doing this for a year. Come on, gang. Bro, this Wi-Fi blows the shit out of me. Y'all, please stay patient. Please. Please, man. Please. Cause this shit's so good, bro. I feel like I'm watching. And, I, and I'm like... Yeah. From what I understand, the two of them were at it. What I understand, the two of them, Brad and DJ, they kind of, I don't know if they laid low or they completely broke up. I guess they call him DJ or David Kenny. Really? Yes. The only guy, he's the only guy he's ever told me about. It's just, it's the guy. What the fuck? <laughs> K Saul, bro. K Saul, bro. K Saul. It just so happened Dave Kenny is was the was the number one victim. Now he's gonna be the number one fucking suspect, bro. That's him. That's him. The detectives made David believe they took his phone for the pictures he had but the truth was they were tracking where his phone was when Brad was murdered, as well as finding proof that him and Brad had a relationship beyond friends. When they took a look at his phone, even though he has deleted everything, they are able to see the text messages between David and Brad. Evidence shows that they were in fact in a sexual relationship. Well, y'all have to People gotta remember, bro. A phone is trackable. Our phones for sure. Just because you deleted some shit don't mean that. That shit trackable. And the and the type of the type of technology police have, bro. 
the type of technology police have, that can recover anything. They review the phone history and find that David's phone was directly at Brad's house at the time of the murder. Oh yeah, fuck it. They also discover, while reviewing the neighbor's CCTV footage, that David had driven to Brad's right before the murder in his wife's car, then left 40 minutes later. David would then appear again hours later in his truck with his family, delivering the weed eater Brad supposedly wanted to borrow. Police know that David was there when Brad was killed. Now they need to work to get the truth out of David. Uh, and ain't even gonna cap. David is square ass nigga. They finna hit his ass with the hey David. We have, we have someone saying that you and, you and you and him was into it. We know about the relationship you guys had. Uh, we also use your phone to track your location. You was there, and you was there today. He was killed. Um, not only that, you are you you left forty minutes and arrived forty minutes later. Then we received a police call. Hey, 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 um, David, you're a number one suspect. You're looking at a least life. And you know what David asked me to do? Hey, look, man, I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> it's too late, buddy. You got your ass caught. You might as well. Cuff your hands down, nigga. Where's your phone point to you at Brad's house the time to get killed? It's past three. I was not there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was You were at his house? Yes, sir. I'm the neighbor. Oh, God. You know exactly when he was killed? Yes, sir, I know. We're there when he was killed. No, sir, I was not at his house when that man was murdered. Sir, I can't. This is the guy. Oh my god, I know. Oh, Jerry, your wife, your kids. This don't have to be the end of your life. I can't conclude. 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 He, he ain't think about this shit smart enough. But this nigga he say, sir, he, he said, hey, look, you're going to lose anything. You're going to lose your wife, your kids. They going to say that type shit because that's their job to say that type shit. They have to say whatever they going to. They have to say whatever to think what's going to make you fold and crumble and make your ass spill a beans, spill a coffee. On the table and fill a cup up type shit. But. We'll do this together. Tell me what happened. So, you're looking to make music? Well, Soundtrap is the perfect tool for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to tune your vocals using auto tune. He said, We're going to. He said, We're going to. You sure, though? You have. I don't know, I got no tune. Yeah, yeah, I got no tune. He said, We're going to get through this together. Tell me what happened. I don't know who he was. I don't know his name. I swear on everything. What happened next? He went in the garage. It's okay. Oh. Wait a minute. What if? Nah, he is the killer. Hold on. There's a couple things you need to know. Brad's front seat and the beamer was full stop and then he broke the away. Yes, sir. Sir, that guy went back into the BMW. Wait a minute, Paul, he's did some extra digging on this shit too. Yes, sir. Sir. And he tried to switch the story up too. He he trying to switch the narrative and say it was another guy there and shit, but they didn't say David Kyle left the crime scene either. 
So dude pretty much fucked at this point. <clears throat> He's fucked, bro. They got their evidence on dude already. Like, it's so over, my boy. Lock his ass up. Lock his ass up. About to lock his ass up. Nah, for real, they about to lock his ass up. Nah, nah, nah. I told him, hey mom, I spent eight years on this degree, but I hate it, and I really want to change jobs. I'm sorry, I know this sounds crazy. They already, they already look he fucked him up because he kept on claiming he wasn't there. And he was. That's a charge. Doing this job for many years, the detective knows that people subconsciously hide their face when lying, especially from police. The police also know that Brad's SUV was still at the house and had not left since Brad was killed. So this version of David's story is a lie. Fancy, I know. Yeah, the house, the I'm telling you to go on the streets of Boston. There was another man there. I, I swear to you, God, to you, I do not know his name. I do not know his name. We did kind of have a little bit of an argument. We did. Right. Uh, T-shot, Brad. From you. Yes, sir. Right. See? And right now, he's fucked. Because the story ain't adding up. First, it was another guy there. They went to the garage, you heard a gunshot. That was sounding a little believable. I ain't gonna lie at first. But then you fucked up and said he got in a Brad's BMW. When Brad BMW said, uh, you fucked up. You should have said, you know what I'm saying? He did it out of the eye and ran or some shit. I don't know. But I don't know. But I don't even, I don't know what to say about all that because his camera's in this emotion. He fucked up. And he was going to shoot me. Alright. But I'm not scared. I don't know what to do. And then I left. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Can I ask you a okay. You, he knew what I looked like. He knew. I, my vehicle was there. I did what? not know what to do. What kind of gun was it? I have no clue. Why did you call the cops? Why did you do this elaborate story? Why did you put... You put your own daughter... In that basement with that boss. You did that. Yes, sir. And you knew he was down there. She, damn it, put screw in your family. Sir, I am. Tell me what happened. I did not kill him. You knew Brad was dead? Did he brought your I daughter? I did not know he was dead. The detective now creates a false story to help David become more comfortable with opening up about what happened. Even though the detective knows David will lie again, he also knows that the truth is getting closer. I'll tell you something. Sometimes when magic happens, people panic. Okay? I got it, dear. I think it might have been an accident. I think that maybe somebody was around and accidentally shot him. I panicked. Didn't think anybody believed him. Was it an accident? Am I right? Drop, drop all this shit and just let it out. You, Brad deserves it. Brad's family deserves it. Your wife deserves it. Your kids deserve it. Brad doesn't want me to leave my wife for a while. I love my wife and kids to death. You love Brad too? I do. I mean, 
And sometimes you think about leaving your wife or anything. Okay. I'm told him when it's time, man. I'm not going to get away. He had me smack me around a couple times. He said, Get you into all of this now. So I'm, I'm done with you forever. He got real loud with me. He got kind of like up in my face. He had a. Those little. Derringers. Cross the line, man. It's time. Look at me. Let it go. Tell me what happened next. He had it in his hand. Just kind of like waving at me, you know what I mean? Okay. Telling me, you know, you're up. I'm tired of you. I can't believe my emotions this long and just to call it quits. He kept waving at me, so I grabbed it. Okay. What happened after you grabbed it? I pushed him. Okay. That's what happened. And what he fucked up at. <laughs> what he fucked up at due to my knowledge and laws and uh, just me educating myself on laws and self-defense. What he fucked up at is, for one, he lied to an officer multiple times. For two, he didn't call and report it. You know what I'm saying? They already got him on camera that he left. He left and then came back before the scene like two, three times. You know what I'm saying? Then three. Well, well, I don't know how it is in Ohio or whatever, but where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? You shot him in the back of the head. That mean the issue could have been resolved because his back was turned. That ain't self-defense because he wasn't facial. So he then already fucked up. He can't get out for self-defense and none of that. Now, may, I don't know, maybe if he would have stuck to this story. But you can tell that it's all false. After this statement, David stops talking and asks for a lawyer. And even though he says he shot Brad, he will go to court pleading not guilty. Go In February 2018, David was convicted of aggravated murder with a gun specification. If this man was able to do a assassin's job to someone he loved and his best friend, what could he do to his enemy? or someone who opposed him. Kinney, for his part, did offer a brief apology in court, although he made neither an admission nor did he offer an explanation. I would like to apologize to my Gary family for all the hurt and pain that I put you through and prevent for any of this to happen, and I wish you could all, I could take it all back. I know all the apologies in the world will never bring him back, but I want you to know I truly am sorry for it all. The defendant shall serve life in prison without the possibility of parole Damn. plus three years beyond life prison records indicate that david remains incarcerated at the belmont correctional institution in st clairsville ohio damn boy look at this damn they gave us a life without parole plus an addition to three years Oof. Hey, that's it for this video, man. I hope y'all like and subscribe. This shit is good, man.